breaking news, I just found out that at Nero, Milo Yiannopoulos, outspoken journalist, critic of social justice warriors, and Trump supporter, was just suspended on Twitter. We still do not know all the facts. This just literally broke a few minutes ago when I was checking his Twitter account, but we will find out more information in upcoming details. But the question that you have to ask yourself, why are Twitter executives suspending Milo, who has, again, very diverse opinions, especially coming from the LGBT community on the Orlando shooting, when Twitter executives are allowing ISIS, radical Islamic terrorists, to still use the platform? Right now, this is an article by Newsweek. Hackers hijack ISIS Twitter account with gay porn after Orlando attack. Why is this ISIS Twitter account not suspended promoting propaganda, promoting the Islamic radical ideology, doing this for recruitment? Again, information is power. Twitter is allowing ISIS to have a freaking Twitter account. Meanwhile, they are spending their time going after Milo Yiannopoulos, a journalist's tweet about the matter. And again, people have to understand, it's not just Twitter that does this. Twitter actually is, of course, a major part of social media. A lot of their executives are tied in with Hillary Clinton, doing fundraisers for her, raising for her, and a lot of the higher-ups in Twitter are, of course, either social justice warriors or admitted Democrats. And of course, Milo is a right-wing conservative pundit. This is not only just happening on Twitter, it's also happening on Facebook and Reddit, who have actually endangered lives by censoring users and deleting comments after their Orlando shooting. The social media outlets are preventing important information from getting out to the public regarding the facts, witness testimonies, and videos about the attack. Censoring is nothing new to either Facebook and read it. They have been doing this for a very long time, but when many people came to the so-called so front page of the internet, Reddit, they found thousands and thousands of comments and posts deleted. Hundreds of users banned from using the platform, like this man who was a gay man and was banned from the LGBT subreddit because he was a Republican. You could see the clear push with the liberal media pushing and making sure no one really finds out the true facts of everything that is happening. We even have co-workers who are working with the terrorist of the Orlando shooting saying that he was unhinged. He was crazy. He was a radical Islamic terrorist. And the company, G4S, one of the largest security companies in the world, also tied in with intelligence companies, they wouldn't do anything about how unhinged and how unstable and they would not fire him most likely because of political rec political correctness and after one day from this horrendous tragedy we have u.s secretary of state john Kerry sitting down to dinner with saudi prince mohammed bin salman in washington dc to discuss the orlando shootings a country where it's pushing for the death and execution of homosexuals this is a country that whips and lashes and tortures people for being homosexual, and yet they are our strongest ally and meeting within John Kerry just one day after the attacks. There's more information coming out. We're going to be covering this all over on our YouTube channel. The shooter's father of the Orlando terrorist attack was actually an outspoken supporter of radical Islamic terrorism. He was a guest at Obama's White House and Hillary Clinton's State Department. And of course, as we know, ISIS would not exist if it wasn't for Hillary Clinton, if it wasn't for the State Department and the CIA giving arms shipments to Libya to get rid of Muammar Gaddafi, rising, giving them weapons, giving them arms, giving them intelligence, giving them money for regime change with leaders that they did not like that threatened the petrodollar. Hillary Clinton with the State Department and CIA funded, armed, gave intelligence to, and created ISIS, starting off in Libya and then inside of Syria by arming radical Islamic terrorists 
against Bashar al-Assad in that country. This is a dirty secret that no one wants to admit that you will not hear on the mainstream media. We talked to a major U.S. senator that has been shilling for Hillary Clinton, and we asked her, you know all the information happening within the government. Why did Hillary Clinton arm radical Islamic terrorists inside of Libya, destroyed that country, made it a hotbed for ISIS? Why did she do that? And she, in this video, which you can watch in the description below, U.S. Senator Gillenbrand admitted, yeah, that was horrible. She should have never done that. Looking at hindsight, she is responsible for those acts. I asked Hillary Clinton one-on-one, -on -one, mano and mano, eye to eye with her stinky breath that she laughed in my face when I asked her why did she support Al-Qaeda? Why did she support radical Islamic terrorists inside of Syria and Libya? She just laughed and immediately called for her secret service. This video, again, will be in the description below. But what we are watching is just a pure outright censorship of social media so you cannot depend on them to get the information out the revolution the evolution will not be in your news feed subscribe to this youtube channel but most importantly go to wearechange.org to get the news uncensored we have an email list set up right here in the right hand corner of our website we actually do not even send emails i do not even have times to send emails but we are collecting them when they shut down our social media accounts because it's only a matter of time it already happened to milo it could happen to anyone who is outspoken anyone who's critical of the current political corporate globalist establishment don't forget to donate and tip to make sure that independent media stays alive by going to wearechange.org forward slash donate. Your support keeps us operating and running independently without any media bias so we could be here for you. Thank you again so much for watching. Subscribe. We're going to have so much more coming here your way as these developments are just becoming utterly insane.